Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the micro farm. I know it's been a little while since I made a video. We've been a little bit busy this summer with just some family things going on, but lots and lots of gardening. But we are coming up into fall and getting full into breeding season again. Well, it's not too hot and um, too hard on our quail and our rabbits. So I thought this would be a good time to show you the addition to our quail cages. So again, I have the hatching time quail cages um, and I've done a pretty long video on that before to show all of the features, show how the, the new um, the cage upgrades, the watering system upgrades, the flooring upgrades. I, I've done a video on all that. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. But today I wanted to show you just the full stack. So this is as high as you want it to go, any taller than this. Well, for one, you can't reach it. <laughs> I have to use a step stool already, but it would just become top heavy and not safe. So this is a full size. We have the two lower ones are for our grow outs. And then the two higher ones are for the breeders. And then we always have an extra cage just for, you know, injuries. And then this top part here, that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. And I realize the light from this angle is not good, but it'll let you see inside the, the brooder much easier. So in previous videos, I've just used, um, you know, like those clear plastic totes as a brooder, and that was just fine. That worked well, um, but I really wanted to save space and I wanted it all in one place. And this system has really made it easy to do that. The watering system on top is the same watering system that feeds all the lower ones. So I fill that one and it waters every single layer, including the brooder. And each layer has its own feeders. So I've got my you know, feed bag right over here and I just scoop it in. And so all in one place, it's super easy to take care of all of them. So let me get my step stool here <laughs> and show you up inside here. So this is actually the chicken size so it is a little bit taller um, I don't have the dimensions in my head right now but it is a taller size and we did that because we do raise chickens as well and so whenever it's time to replace our um, egg layers we don't raise chicken for meat just for eggs so whenever it's time to replace them now we have a brooder for the chicks or the eggs that we get but we can also use it for our quail and so take a peek inside here so it looks very similar, the setup anyway, um, to the cages. So it has underneath here, if I can get to it, it does have holes in the flooring, but for new chicks, since I'm about to just put them in here, it actually has this protective flooring to keep them from injuring their feet. So I'll have to keep this clean for, you know, maybe the, the first week, and then I'll be able to um, open up the flooring and it'll go down into the poop tray just like the other layers do. It also has a feeding system built in with the, the mess-free protection here that just, like these ones down here that are eating, it just goes right on top of their feed and it keeps them from digging around and making a mess. So that has this too, but again, for the little babies, right now we're just using the, the crumble. I'm actually taking the crumble and grinding it um, so it's small enough for them. So we're just using that for now. The water system, like I said, feeds from up there, goes down the side, feeds all of these, but also back here. And so it runs all the way to the back. And that, that green and yellow bar that's back there actually allows this to raise and lower depending on the age and the height of the chicks that are in there. So that's pretty fantastic. So when it comes to the heat, I have always preferred um, the, the heat plates, but this actually heats really, really well. Um, it has a light on it. This right now I have an LED light in it that doesn't produce heat. It's just light. And honestly, this light's too bright. This is just for the, the purpose of the video, but just to let you know that there is a light that's able to be in there. And that's a sensor right there that controls that. And out on the outside where it hooks in, let's see if I can come down and get a better angle at it. So this is how you actually would turn it off and on. So it's just super easy. Just flip the switch off, flip it back on. The red light tells you if it's heating. So when it goes down here, that tells you that's not heating anymore. When it comes back up here, it's heating. 
So right now we're just getting everything heated up to get them ready to get in here. But this is lots of space for lots of little baby quail to roam and to have a good time. So I think that's about it for all the features in here. Oh, I do know one more. The doors. I can show you the doors. So these doors close and they're solid. It keeps all the heat in because you, you want them to be nice and warm. So this helps keep all the heat in, but it has this really cool feature right here that if you just turn these, you can actually adjust, let's see if I can do it with one hand. <laughs> you can adjust the height of this. Can you see that? So that you can let more air in. And actually as they get bigger, when you open that up, I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand. But anyway, when you close this back up, it lets them peek their heads through so they can start using the other feeder. So you would do that gradually as you're starting to reduce the heat inside and get them ready to be, um, you know, to, to normal outside temperatures, you would raise this and it would help you get some fresh air in there, help control the temperature, reduce the temperature, and let them get to that feeder. So I think that's it. If anyone has any questions, just, you know, as always, just leave a comment. I'll see if I can answer it. And um, check out the next video coming soon with the babies in there.